Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. I am Madam Amirah Nama Magnor, a mathematics lecturer at UITM Pahang. I will teach you calculus 1, which is M80183, right? Alright, let's look at what inside this course. There are five major chapters for this course. Chapter 1 is limits and continuity. Chapter 2, differentiation. Chapter 3, applications of differentiation. Chapter 4, integration. And chapter 5 will be applications of integration. In this video, we will discuss chapter 1, which is limits and continuity. Right? Chapter 1, limits and continuity. First, we look at learning outcome for the first chapter. At the end of this session, the student should be able to, number 1, Find algebraically the limits of function. Number two, recognize and determine infinite limits and limits at infinity. Number three, determine the existence of the limits of functions. And number four, determine whether the function is continuous or discontinuous at x equals to c. Right? Before we go further, First, we got to know about limits. The concept of limit is one of the most crucial things to understand in order to prepare for calculus. First, we look at the introduction. Right? Limits are all about approaching. Right? Sometimes you can't work something out directly, but you can see what it should be as you get closer and closer. For example, let's say if we have fx equals to x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Okay, and let's work it out for x equals to 2. Okay, we plug in x equals to 2 into x here, so we get 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2. Then we have 4 minus 4, which is 0 over 2 minus 2, which is also equals to 0, right? So the answer after we substitute x equals to 2 into this function, we get 0 over 0. Now, 0 over 0 is a difficulty. We don't really know the value of 0 over 0. It is indeterminate. So we need another way of answering this, right? And 0 over 0, if you calculate using calculator, calculator will give error when we calculate 0 over 0, right? So, instead of trying to work it out for x equals to 2, let's try approaching it closer and closer. Alright, now we have table with two columns. The first column is the value of x. And the second column is the function for x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. Alright, let's say if we replace x equals to 1.5 into whatever x here, so we will get the answer 3.5. Let's say if we substitute 1.5, 9 into whatever x here, we will get 3.9. And if we substitute 1.99 into whatever x here, we will get 3.99. Okay? And let's say if we substitute 1.999999 into whatever x here, we will get 3.999999, right? So, from the first column here, as x gets close to 2 here, then the function fx equals to x squared 
minus 4 over x minus 2 gets close to 4. Right? Because 3.99999 here is close to 4. Right? When x close to 2. Right? Now, we are faced with an interesting situation. When x equals to 2, we don't know the answer. It is indeterminate. Okay, remember in the previous slide, after we substitute x equals to 2, we will get 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. But we can see that if x gets close to 2, it is going to be 4, right? And f2 equals to 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2 equals to 0 over 0 equals to error. Right? We want to give the answer 4, but can't. So instead, mathematicians say exactly what is going on by using the special word limit. The limit of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2 is 4. And it is written in symbol as limit x approaches 2 x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 is equals to 4. Alright? So, it is a special way of saying ignoring what happens when we get there, but as we get x closer and closer to 2, the answer gets closer and closer to 4. Right? Are limits only for difficult functions? Limits can be used even when we know the value when we get there. Nobody said there are only for difficult functions. We know perfectly well that 2 times 5 equals to 10. But limits can still be used if we want. Okay? For example, if we have limit x, approaches 5 to x it is equals to 10 why because when we plug in the value of 5 into whatever x here so we get 2 times 5 which is equals to 10 right coming up next properties of limits if you like this video you can subscribe thank you for watching stay tuned Bye. Assalamualaikum.